Hello everybody and welcome to my 12th Intermediate Excel tutorial uh, and this tutorial is going to teach you how to do HLOOKUPs. So I have a table here um, that has the months across the top and uh, some uh, cities down the side and then just some numbers, I guess they can represent population or something like that in hundreds of thousands. Um, probably not very accurate but I just typed in some random numbers. Um, so all I've done uh, is on this sheet I want to have just a reference to the to these values in here um, but I want them vertically rather than horizontally so the way to do this is just to go same as before but with H lookup horizontal lookup instead of V lookup which has a vertical lookup um, and so just same parameters again except for column index number is now row index number so the lookup value, same as before, just what we're looking up against. Table array, so this time I'm going to highlight these rows uh, and F for them so they stay the same. And then row index number, I'm going to look for the grand total. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so fifth, and then false. Um, and then fill that down and you see what what's happened there is it's taken the grand totals and it's transposed them uh, to go down here um, if I just copy these across um, I'll show you a nifty little trick if you go to paste special transpose um, values you don't have to do values but I want to do values because I want the formats to come across main thing transpose and then it will take something that's horizontal transpose it to a vertical so you can see there that these have all changed and the reason I wanted to do it as you'd want to do it as formulas is because now this is going to be referencing it all the time so, so if I change this to 122 that's going to go to 263 this one's gone to 263 whereas if you just copy and paste it every time you're going to have to it's going to, it's going to be a bit of a ball lake um, so that's how you use a H lookup, same as a V lookup, just um, in the opposite direction, I guess. Um, and then the final thing I want to show you on lookups, this works for both V lookups and H lookups, is sometimes you might want your H lookup, which, which row it's looking at, to be dynamic. So here I've got a little drop down, um, which I'll show you how to do in a tutorial soon. Um, with the different rows in here, um, all I'm going to do in here is put down the the numbers of the rows, um, and I hide them so no one can see them. I'm going to do a little V lookup in here, V lookup this, uh, and make sure you write equals because otherwise it won't do it as a formula. That cell, open bracket, these columns column number 14 um, and if you do Vega lookups a lot then you're going to learn very quickly what the numbers are that, of the letters are off the top of your head um, and false and at the moment it's not finding anything but as soon as I put this on grand total you can show it's come up with five so instead of having five in here I'm going to delete that and I'm actually going to reference that cell and I'm going to drop that down um, and I need to put F, uh, the F4s or the uh, dollar signs around that um, because otherwise as I drop it down it's not going to look up against the right cell. Um, dollar signs really important here. Um, I can then hide that cell uh, because people don't want to see it. I'm not really hiding it, I'm just making the text white so there's still a value there. But then as I change these, then the value of this, um, if I bring it back up again, you can see it's changed to four, so now it's looking up against the fourth row, second row, first row. So that's really useful to have because um, it means now, oh, I want to look at London, da 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 da. I want to look at New York, da 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 da. I want to look at the total, da 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 da. So that's the end of lookups now. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to go through conditional formatting. Um, so I hope to catch you then. Um, thanks for listening.